Hi there and welcome. Everyone is talking about DaVinci Resolve 18's new object mask. And what happened to the magic mask that was in DaVinci Resolve 17? Well, let's talk about them. Oh, better yet, let's open up DaVinci Resolve and check them out. Okay, I'm on the timeline. I have this clip of a uh, cherry blossom tree that we filmed when my wife and I went to Sussex Park in Richmond Hill. And I think of using the object mass to mass this tree trunk and put some text behind it to tell people that this is a cherry blossom tree at uh, Sussex Park. So first off, I'll just make a copy of this, drag this up here, and I'm going to put the text in the middle here, but uh, starting the tree trunk, so I guess from about here I would have stopped, so let's only use this much. Now let's let me bring this out, even it out. Select uh, video three. This is the one I want to mask. And then go to the color page. From here, I add a note. And in this note, I want to apply this magic mask, which is this one here. And over here, you can select person mass or object mass and because I want to mask the tree trunk I'll use the object mask and I'm gonna head over to the beginning and then make sure I'm on the first clip and I have the eyedropper selected and then I'll just draw And make sure this is highlighted. And because I'm at the beginning, I would just track forward. This is pretty intense work that the object mass is doing. So I'm going to speed it up and come back when it's done. By the way, if you feel this video is helpful, please click the thumbs up button below to let YouTube share it to more people. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and remember to click the bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Yeah, it's almost done. So uh, we're getting there. It's, it's doing a really, really good job. Okay, it's all done. Now, all I'm going to be doing is uh, add an alpha output and then hook this onto the blue dot here and that's it I'm pretty happy with this and let's head back to the edit page and put my text in here just put uh, cherry blossom at there something like that let's make that a little bit bigger and let's make it I'm gonna make this a little bit uh, more interesting having the text le selected I'll go to the position one here and add a keyframe and move this all the way back so it's just out of frame like that and then about yeah about there I'll add another keyframe and then 
move this all the way across to there and then in the middle I want to add some drop shadow so the words will stand out a little bit like that yeah that's it see how easy it is to use object mass okay let's play this So thanks again for watching. Remember, keep on filmmaking and have fun creating. Bye for now.